All right, so we did a side-side-side example, uh, which was actually number five from the book on that page 275. I don't believe I wrote that down. Uh, and this one is number 17, and this is a side-angle-side situation. So this is the information given in the problem. Uh, I'm not going to draw the triangle as we can just use a formula. So what we uh, need to do is solve for the unknown side, which is A. So let's take a look at our formulas again in the PowerPoint. So for solving for A, we're going to use this first one in standard form. This A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. So that's the one we're going to use. So again, we have, we have uh, A and we have B and C, and this is a product of everything. So or some and or product of everything. So I'll rewrite that formula for you. So we have a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Sorry, that looks. Try to make it look at least like a, a lowercase c as best I can. Uh, and then minus 2bc and then cosine of a. So this is the formula we're going to use. We're just going to put in everything we know. Again, we're solving for a, so. So 6 squared. And then cosine of 120 degrees which we can use our unit circle, but we'll use our calculator for that. All right, so 36 and 49, and what do we have here? Um, so, well, cosine of 120 is going to be what? Uh, a negative one half, so this is two times forty-two times negative one half. That's what that comes out to. So uh, let's see. So a squared is equal to. So that's going to be the twos cancel. The negatives cancel. Is just plus forty-two. So these three add up to one twenty-seven. Looks like. Uh, so that's what we have. So if a squared a squared is one twenty seven, a equal or a no, let's, a equals the square root of one twenty seven, and only the positive square root because it's a distance. So let's grab our calculator, and we'll keep this to two decimal places per the instructions. 27 raised to the 0.5 power is a square root. So 11.269, which goes to 27. So 11.27. And that is that. Now we can continue again using the law of cosines, but as we did in the previous part, previous problem, I'm going to go with the law of signs here. So I'm going to continue with law of signs. Let's. All right. So we have the A and the um, uh, angle and side for a so we can choose either one we've got b is next it's smaller i'll choose b i guess so we know that sine of sine of uh, a over a equals sine of b over b so sorry that's 120 and A is 11.27 now that we know that. And we 
know what B is. It's six. All right, so we can do some manipulation and we've got sine of B. If we multiply through by six, that's equal to six. And a uh, sine of 120, what is it, root three over two? Uh, yeah, so it's a root three over two. And that's 11.27. So sine of B, let's see what it comes out to. So let's do root. Uh, so root 3 over 2 times 6, it's going to be 3 root 3, so 3 times the square root 3. Oh, excuse me, 0. 0.5. And then we're going to divide by 11.27. So we're looking at 0.461-ish. Uh, so let's write that down first. So B, if we take the inverse sine of each side, is going to be equal to the inverse sine 0.461. So we've still got the 0.461 in the calculator. So let's take the inverse side of our answer, inverse sine of answer. So rounded to two decimal places, 27.4, and the 5 goes up to a 6. All right, I don't know what I just did. Yeah. All right, let's try that again. All right, so we've got two of our uh, un three unknowns. So now we have two angles, which means we can use a standard method to solve for angle three. So C is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of the other two, which A was given as 120. And B is 27.46. So we're looking at 60 minus 27.46. So that's 32.5. And now we have solved the triangle. So we've done, uh, I've done an example where we had all three sides in video one. And in this video, now you've done one with a side angle sign. So that's the two possibilities that you could have using the law of cosines.